from the Tribune News Network. This is Newsbreak. I'm Kirk Smith. Wednesday's top stories. We'll find out more at a press briefing scheduled for tomorrow. But there is a announcement on the corona vaccine the government is getting and when it's expected to get here. A statement from the office of the prime minister has confirmed that we'll be getting up to 100,000 doses of the AstraZeneca vaccine beginning in a matter of weeks. The Corona Consultative Committee expected to outline distribution details at that Thursday news conference. Meantime, the coronavirus numbers remain low. Only two confirmed cases reported on Monday, both in the capital. There are 13 persons in hospital. No one is in the ICU. No additional deaths have been reported. Road rage may have triggered the latest murder here in the capital. Police say a man was fatally stabbed during an argument following a traffic accident in the Coconut Grove area last night. Police were investigating this, murder number 12 for the year. They're still investigating number 11 also, the fatal shooting of a man on DeVoe Street earlier this week. That victim identified now as 38-year-old Anwar Tucker, also known as Bats. Police are still looking for the motive for that shooting. This is News Break from the Tribune News Network. Police Commissioner Rule defending his officers and their connection to the ongoing Peter Nygaard story. This is what he told reporters yesterday about the matter when questioned. The members of the Royal Bahamas Police Force are some of the best in the world. I don't, I don't know that the image or reputation of the Royal Bahamas Police Force is, is damaged. There are some allegations made against Peter Nygaard, and I think we should focus on that. Let us try and, and deal with that. Peter Nygaard is alleged to have molested a number of women. Those matters are being investigated. I don't hear the Royal Bahamas Police Force being investigated. Let's, let's stick with the facts. The FNM has announced its first 17 candidates for the next general elections. 11 incumbents among them, Brent Sumanet and Brent Roll, not running in their current constituencies. Six new candidates have been ratified by the party. Social Services Minister Campbell announcing that his ministry is planning to ban beating in all children's homes that's the fallout from that children's emergency hostel incident. Tourism Minister Diangula says he believes the industry will be changing for the better by the third quarter because of the rollout of the corona vaccines around the world, including in our biggest market, the U.S. Details of the day's top stories in the Tribune newspaper on the streets first thing in the morning. Stay up to date online all day at Tribune242.com. Now the Tribune's Active Weather Update, a service of insurance management. That frontal system has cleared the area. Partly sunny and mild today. Highs from the upper 60s to mid-70s. 68 at Freeport, 68 in the capital, 76 at Matthew Town. Course and flags are still up for boaters. Winds still up around 20 knots. The sea's up to 6 feet over open waters. Low tide now, the next high around noon. Turning partly cloudy tonight, it'll stay cool. Lows from the upper 50s to mid-60s. For complete weather information, check the Tribune's weather page. For your insurance needs, call Insurance Management. Insurance Management wishes everyone a safe and prosperous 2021. Give them a call today for all of your insurance needs. They offer a wide range of insurance products. With more than 40 years in business, nobody does it better than Insurance Management. This is Newsbreak from the Tribune News Network. Let the Bahamas and the world know that you're open for business by advertising in the Tribune and on Tribune242.com. Reach the market that'll get your cash registers ringing by calling 502-2394 today. Our professional advertising agents are on hand to customize packages just for you and consultations are free. Give your business the maximum exposure for an affordable investment and let us help you increase your sales. Call 502-2394 today. We're open for business. Let the world know you are too. The Tribune, the people paper biggest and best wednesday's world news headlines the u.s now digging out from that major winter storm that went through the area over the past couple of days major travel issues for the big cities of the northeast including boston new york philadelphia and washington major snow issues in those areas still weather making news in australia where it's summertime a major bushfire in the perth area has destroyed more than 70 homes and it's still burning more tension in Russia after a court there sentenced opposition leader Navalny to two and a half years in prison. That while doctors in Myanmar say they will strike to protest the military coup there. 
Tribune's gas tracker prices, middle of the week, Shell 409, Rubus 401, SO $4.02 per gallon here in the capital. Now your sports notes brought to you by the Tribune Sports Section. For the vaccine on the way, school sports may soon be back. Read the plans for Grand Bahama schools in the Tribune Sports and find out how Rashad Fenton, who is of Bahamian descent, feels about playing in his second straight Super Bowl game for the Kansas City Chiefs. The countdown to Sunday continues. There's an NBA update in the Tribune Sports and a tennis update also in the Tribune Sports Wednesday ahead of the first major tournament of the year, the Australian Open. All of your sports details, you want to check the Tribune Sports section. Everything you need from the world of sports, you'll find in the Tribune Sports. And that's your news spray. Details of the day's top stories in the Tribune newspaper on the streets first thing in the morning. Stay up to date online all day at Tribune242.com.